So, I bought some Marvel Ultra Build figures that use CCBS style pieces. And, um, they look kinda strange. In this video, let's take a closer look at these knockoff sets, and we'll see if they're any good. We'll see if the plastic quality holds up, and we'll check out some of the unique parts that come in these sets. Because despite the fact that they look horrifying, they do have good pieces. And actually, maybe the construction of these things, it isn't that bad. Well, let's take a closer look and see if these guys are any good. We got the mighty Thor Odinson and the invincible Iron Man Tony Stark. Together they make quite a nice pair. You know, as you can see, they pose well, they look good, maybe they're not so bad. I bought these two sets off of the website AliExpress, and as you can see, they were pretty cheap. One thing to note though, the Iron Man set was advertising that it came with a helmet and a stand to hold the helmet on. It doesn't, that was a lie. And also Thor's hammer is shown to be trans blue to kind of mimic his lightning powers. No, it's grey. But hey, I think this hammer piece actually is still pretty cool regardless. The construction of it is two separate pieces that split apart. There's also some quite nice details on the side and the centre of the hammer. Although that circle of runes isn't perfectly centred in the middle, but still, it looks like Mjolnir. They replicated it pretty well. However, they did not replicate this face all that well. The teeth and the eyes are just downright terrifying. It's a little bit cursed. But I mean, comparing it to Chris Hemsworth, they did match the rough facial structure, and it does resemble him a bit. So I don't know, it's not totally awful. It's not that great either. I like the hair, at least. I don't know, that, that looks nice. I'm just trying to say nice things about this. I'm being a tad mean to this man's face. But look, ignoring the head, everything about this toy is brilliant. The nice printing on the chest, the shape and the look of the body design, the posability. It's good. It's what I want out of a standard traditional CCBS style set. I also love this cape. On the one side, it's your traditional red cape that you'd see in many different LEGO sets. But on the other side, it's this nice shiny velvety texture and colour. It looks really regal and godly. Unfortunately, it came with a bunch of creases and fold lines in it. Yeah, the way that these sets were packaged was kind of lame. They were just kind of shoved into a big old bag and unfortunately, the cape got a little bit messed up as a result. But I really like this piece. I think it'd be super useful for mock building, especially with that nice shiny texture. Later on in the video, I'll give you a few ideas for how you could potentially use this cloth piece in a mock, or how you could use official Lego cloth and cape pieces and integrate them into your Bionicle creations. So stay tuned for that. But look, despite a few flaws, I think this is a decent toy. The CCBS design for the whole body and the limbs, it feels the way that it should. It does look like Thor. And it comes with a couple nice, cool, unique pieces. I like this. More than I thought I would. We'll highlight some of those unique pieces later on in the video, so stay tuned. But this Iron Man figure, is he just as good? Well, he suffers from the same issue that Thor did of having a pretty creepy looking face. You can see the resemblance to Robert Downey Jr's Tony Stark, but they just didn't get that mustache correct. They gave him a little like goatee on the edge of his chin, and that's not really what it looks like. It should kind of flare up a little bit more across the chin, up the sides. You know, it's odd. This face both looks exactly like Tony Stark and nothing at all like Tony Stark. Sometimes from a distance, and you know, if you blow your eyes a little bit, it does look like him. But look, the armor captures the look of Iron Man very well. The CCBS armor shells in gold and dark red, well, they replicate Iron Man's design pretty nicely. And have a look at these gold printed Technic panel pieces on the torso. These are sick. If you take apart the torso construction a little bit, you can see that underneath there is an arc reactor and more traditional kind of like printing on this torso, which is nice. I guess this golden section is meant to just be like add-on armor or something like that. And actually, I quite like this whole upper torso and shoulder construction. The way that it wraps around the neck and how the armor flows over the shoulders, it's pretty cool. And you know, these golden shoulder pads don't limit posability at all, which is nice. You know, much like Thor, if you ignore the face, this figure really is pretty good. Although, is it as good as the official Ultra Build Iron Man set that we got from the LEGO group? Well, here they are side by side, and man, I never realised how small the official Iron Man was. 
I suppose this is maybe a slightly unfair comparison. The bootleg set is based off of the MCU version of Iron Man, whereas the official set is more of a comic or cartoon based look. Sure, it's the same character, but it is two different vibes. I don't know, just looking at them, basing it purely off of cool factor and how they look, I would say the bootleg is slightly better. The armor construction, the proportions, the techniques, I like them just that little bit more. The original set just feels a little bit more simplistic. I still really like the original set though, I don't want to bag on that, it is cool. But there's something nice about this bootleg man. Although hey, the Lego produced set is definitely going to win because of the helmet. I think that's way better than this creepy face. And the quality of pieces that come in this set, well, they're way better than the bootleg set. Oh, and if you're curious by the way, yes, these pieces are essentially identical to Lego parts. You can mix and match them with ease. The bootleg parts of course are worse quality plastic though. The joints are a little bit tighter, and holding it, it just feels cheap. The plastic quality is not the same as Lego. For example, if you look at the thigh pieces that came on both Thor and Iron Man, you can see a bunch of scratches on them. This is how they came in the bag, I didn't do that. The quality, yeah, it's just not there. But it's still passable, these aren't gonna break just by thinking about them. They hold up, it's just not as good as the real deal. Lego quality will always be unparalleled. Now while we're talking about these parts, let's look at some of the exclusive pieces that come in both of these sets, and we'll see how you could use them, or the real versions of these pieces, in your own Bionicle creations. So you do get a dark blue and dark red thigh armor piece, but these do not appear in these colors in official LEGO sets. That's pretty exciting. Bra Onicles uses these pieces for some lower leg armor on a Rakshi. Honestly dude, these pieces, they look good on thighs, they look good on lower legs, they're great on arms. Any limb is the perfect place to use these pieces. They're just the best. Getting these in brand new colors is so freaking cool. Now another way to use them is how Max Howell has done here. Spam a bunch of them and turn it into some kind of tunic or coat or a ceremonial robe of some kind. I love how that looks. Yeah, then capping it off at the top with some of these black shin guard pieces. Good choice. The way that they flow into the arms, it makes them look a bit like sleeves. Very nice. Now, on the subject of that specific piece, you get some of these in gold as well as gun metal as well. Y you may have already noticed it, but this color of gold, it's a slightly different shade to official pearl gold. Now, on the left, we have the Lego official pearl gold. On the right, the knockoff part. You can see that that official color is just that little bit of a darker shade. So sadly, if you want to match this with your existing pieces in your collection, it's going to look a little bit off, but it's not too bad. But all right, how else could you use these shin armor pieces? Well, Shubi4000 uses them here for a funky leg design, but not on the lower legs. No, on the middle of the leg. The way that that sharper part of the armor flares out, it looks sick. It's got a nice sinister vibe to it that fits a villain character very, very well. Maybe you could do the same thing but with the official version of this piece. Or with the knockoff version, I don't know, do what you want. Now you also get some gold shoulder armor pieces, which is a really nice element. Vorox has a mock that places one of these parts in the center of the torso. And this would look good with the bootleg pieces or the official parts too. And finally, Thor's cape. How could you use that? or other similar cloth pieces. Well, the underscore double has a mock called Sister of the Skrull, and it has lots of cloth pieces wrapped around it to create a very ceremonial or cult-like robe. Now imagine something like this, but with that shiny cloth that comes in this set. Honestly, that would be really cool. I really enjoy mocks that are very cloth heavy like this. It's just a cool vibe. So all in all, I think these sets are pretty good. The pieces are nice, the design holds up better than I expected it to. I like them. Head on over to AliExpress and pick some up for yourself. I'd say they're worth it. Just don't look at the faces. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed some of the mocks that I showcased at the end of the episode here, there's links to all of them in the description below. Go and check them out. I'll also include some links below to AliExpress if you want to buy those figures. But that's it for today guys. Love you tons, happy building, and bye for now.